I grew up in a family that was interested in the arts. Even as a child, I drew plans, drew the outside of buildings, I drew castles. At SCAD, I actually came in specifically for historic preservation. And I added interior design because I saw that really what I was doing in design was comprehensive. So it wasn't just the exterior fabric of the building, it also related to the interior fabric. Upon graduation, one of my first projects was a historic preservation project, which was actually going to be converted into an intercontinental hotel. Then Hirsch Bedner called, walked into the president's office, and he handed me a new hotel project being constructed in Istanbul, Turkey and that kicked my career off. I went from doing domestic work to doing international work within two years upon graduation. My design philosophy was very much shaped by my time at SCAD. Everything that I loved and everything that I studied, historic preservation, interior design, art history, that all came into play shaping my philosophy and how I perceive design. On the Gritty Palace project, it's very much a coveted project in the design world. My approach has been all by hand. The renderings of the spaces are beautiful hand done watercolors. The designs of the furniture are sketched by hand. And the fabrics have been pulled from historic archives. So the whole presentation is loose, it's all by hand. And nothing done by computer. And all of a sudden, there's an artistic element to it. I was invited to come present to the board of directors for Dangia. I had the idea to actually go back through my archive of magazines and books and look at Angelo Dangia's work. And I walked into the room and handed them a copy of his work, then proceeded to tell them that the real legacy and foundation of Dangia was Angelo Dangia, and that this was really the direction that they needed to take the company. I realized all of a sudden that I had become this curator and steward of this legacy. Following in the footsteps of Angelo Dangia is still overwhelming to me. I still have to pinch myself every now and then. It has to be my dream job. Mm -hmm.